What's happening folks, Son of Beast here, and today is the last match as the NBA Play-In Tournament comes to a conclusion here, but for this time, I'm here for OJ, and I have another special to bring back a guest. We have his Silver Spoon. Hello. It's back to be you again. I think that postseason is kind of not the very quiet. But also in mind, do I have to worry about the blame about you and me? Um, I just said sorry before, but uh, this is the NBA game. I, need, I currently need you to be in the game to help us out. Yeah, we want you to keep an eye. Excuse me, to keep an eye on this game. And then also uh, be the commentator with us. It might be a great idea if you could be in it and be with us too. That's great. Thanks for that. I really like your appreciation. Now the next matchup we have is Atlanta Hawks and Brooklyn Nets. As Atlanta Hawks beat against the, the 10th seed of the team of Char Charlotte Hornets. And for the other team of Brooklyn Nets, they lost against the Toronto Raptors. And as the Raptors are proceeding on to take on the Sixers in the first round, since they met here in the first, uh, second round in 2019, what is your take here for the Nets and the Fox? I think that might be the bet. I'm going to have to plan out with, uh, with the Hawks to come back in the game. Okay, and I think... Uh, I been out there, all right. But I, I guess I have no other choice but to go with Brooklyn anyway. My bet is going to be Brooklyn to keep an eye on the ball because I have never seen him playing quite so far. Without Ben Simmons, I think Kyrie Irving is back to be on the court, but he may be unable to take the court to try to fix it off from here. But there's going to be a lot of choice options to keep an eye on. Anyway, I just said you may see that. It's a good idea. Here's the lineups. We have Trey Young, Kevin Harder, DeAndre Hunter, John Collins, Clint Capella, and then Nets, Irving, Curry, Bruce Brown, Kevin Durant, or Katie, and AD of Andre Drummond. It's going to be turning on tonight. Let's head you over to the Barclays Center. Let's take you from here. Welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. The traffic in New York City. And just the traffic out there going in Brooklyn, New York, right up to the outside of miles away of New York City. And I think this might be turning out to be one of the best plays ever since Kyrie Irving is able to return home but he won't be able to play here on the court. Perhaps he will be on the sideline for tonight. Here's the A. Good evening, Kevin. The Brooklyn Nets have focused on the work and they let the results follow. Kyrie Irving says it's a privilege to go out there and perform after you prepare with your brothers. So we just want to stay collectively aligned on the same goal. Hold each other accountable, be consistent, and have fun doing it. Kevin, I am having fun doing this broadcast. Thanks so much, DA. And all the fans are having fun here, too. And here's a look of Andre Drummond. The last part of the season was 1.9 of 2020 to 21 last season of the game. Everything's turning out great here so far. I think Andre Drummond really appreciates how his effort is turning out. I agree. Most of them turned out to be very nice. A lot of plays, a lot of hustling. Key matchups are Trey Young and Kyrie Irving, but this is going to be the uh, 2K Sports to go up with the lineup courage. Don't try to worry, everything else will be alright. <clears throat> but in that case, let's just all have fun here. And this is just happening what the game is all about. It's all about having fun, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yes, it is. Let's enjoy it. And the Brooklyn Nets wins the tip off here. We start things in Brooklyn, fueled up and ready to go for the last game of the NBA play-in tournaments. Here's Curry. After a trade in from the other team, it turned out to be just off the topic. And with your take, guys, of Curry, 
His most average scoring has gotten even better to take it from the other angle. It's a lot of hard work, but how does it pay response to those guys? Those pay responses are definitely very uh, tricky, but not to explain how well they've picked up uh, Seth Curry. They have a lot of uh, um, angle at the moment to try to keep it going. That's a lot of uh, encouragement, what they really need. And I can definitely agree on that. Seth Curry, after playing with the Sixers here yeah, just another time, I would ever, ever see them play. But how well he has done? Yeah, I think he's doing great. Here's Drummond, guarded by Clint Capella, and he got the ball right away. Herder in the attack coming in, and it's rebounded by Irving. Holds the ball for Curry, almost went loose. Katie. Right in the paint. Lays up. That's good. Kevin Durant with the first bucket. Kevin Durant got into a good lucky play here. He had it all with the ball. Young against Irving. Screen on. I'm sorry. Screen on Collins. And Trey Young will get the basket here. Trey Young on the other side knows that he can handle the pressure. But I think that a lot of defensive breakdowns are going to be in trouble to face them off. Drummond fades around Capella, but he's knocked away. Clint Capella with the steal. And Herter up. Hunter unable to reach the opponent with the rebound. Drummond to Irving. From deep corner. Good! That will be a first three-pointer of the game for Irving. And they lead up by one. Leading up, of course, uh, Kyrie Irving. He is also known as Uncle Drew. I like that nickname. That's a lot of words. Pay a lot of respect. Young on Irving. Drives in. And as the bucket scores, it will be up by one with another defensive breakdown. Defensive breakdown is having a lot of encouragement on the board. And because of Trey Young, he really has done it a lot better. Steal. And they're coming up with the two-on-one attack. And there's Herder with the, with the shot, and he makes it in. Trey Young with the assist, and they're up by three. Irving, try to do this one again. Curry, back to Irving. Last game against Memphis. They have already lost against Memphis Grizzlies for the 130 to 122 in the regular season. But now their postseason definitely got started off for the Nets. But it might turn out a little bit off the hook. I know that one. It's hard when you think. But that's just how hard that they need. Oh, Al Hoops with a great pass by Trey Young and Clint Capella goes with the second bucket. They come up here just one point for Clint Capella, putting up a loss against Detroit. His, not, his average became very low for a decent score. What's your take here, my guys? I, uh, Flick and Bella did, play, did have a hard time with the reaching with this shot. But if those players could definitely knock them out, they really got into a lot of trouble and really wanted to pay them off to try it again. Brett Brown at the free throw line. He'll be shooting two after the foul was called on Collins on Atlanta. Makes the first free throw. Brett Brown. Definitely have a lot of uh, good encouragement out there. Last played with uh, the Detroit Pistons before he makes a trade in to the Brooklyn Nets and wanted to get things off to the other players to help them out. All four players are checked out. Four players are checked in. And Brown gets to both of the shots are good with 2.20 to go. Here's Williams, covered by Trojic. And a reach and foul called on Patty Mills. That'll be his first. And now Brett Brown will be checked out. And a new change up here will be Thomas. Only 2.14 to go, right on Kongu. Gallinari in the corner, screen, returns it over, 
And a great dry finish. That will be Gallinari's first bucket of the night. And they are up ahead by, by three. That's correct. It was up by, up by three. They really got it off there. Johnson tries a three. His first three-pointer can't hit the flow. Right on Thomas with the with the angle break and try to go for it. And a good D on Thomas. That'll be the first rebound for Brooklyn. Brooklyn turning out very well. Thomas just does have a lot of uh, strength. He's doing it really well. Trajan. Back to Johnson. Six on the shot clock. Trajan up. Makes a drive. That's a first bucket for Trajan. And they're up to go up, trailing by one. They really got into it. Drogic missing out with Miami Heat. And I don't think they will be replacing Spencer Dinwiddie here at that point because he's with the Dallas Mavericks. Two on one attack, and it's kicked it away. Wu Williams with a steal. Another turnover on Brooklyn. McDonavich, nobody around, and that's no good in the three pointer range. Johnson. Again, Patty Mills tries it again. And hold the ball ahead without the steal being made. Johnson, right to Thomas, finds Jarjic. Open pass, Aldridge dunks it through. And it's Jarjic with the assist. Oh, Aldridge, watch out. He's right on the top of the heavy matchup player. 15 seconds left here, right and Mills. Screen on Gallinari. Finds him. Eight to shoot. And it will be knocked in there as they put it back up ahead. Drogic. Pass over to Mills. Mills. Aldridge. Could he make it? It will not. That will be the end of the first quarter. It's 14 to 13 score. We're going to see how well they get. But that might be hard of them to pay off. We'll be right back at the second quarter after this. I just go back to being in my backyard and, you know, just practicing all my layups or all my finishes. You know, that's what I go back to. I mean, this is, when I'm in that situation, so I kind of feel like that. It's like, yeah, it's, this is what I do. Yes, indeed. Definitely how well Kyrie Irving has always practices before he gets into the game. And during the pandemic out there, he decides to do it by himself. He has never done playing basketball before during uh, during the range of pandemic. He is unable to attend here for the for the home games, but he is always attended here in away games. I definitely agree on that. It's harder when you think because of Perry Irving, he really has to try to like back away from the game, and because the other players are un unvaccinated, they cannot be allowed to be playing you know, on court for the home games. As a scoring breakdown turns out to be a narrow one for Atlanta, here's Drogic trying it again from the top. Three ball, Thomas, got it! That's a first three baller and it'll be trailing by two. Thomas has got his first three in the bucket. Gallinari on Griffin. Double screen, almost turned to be ejected away. Oh, it's sharp! with a sharp block angle, and they turn it off. And they couldn't help him out. Sharp with the first block of the game, with a huge success. It was not Andre Drummond, I wasn't able to see that play, but how hard it could be? That's a lot of woof. Gallinari, nobody around, and it's Sharp with the rebound after Gallinari missing the three attempt. Patty Mills. Goes right back to Drogic. Drogic finds Mills. Mills with the ball. Six on the shot clock. They gotta find a shot to make it. And Sharp makes it no problem and the timeout will be released on Atlanta. Only 4.10 to go here. And if you're all enjoying the NCAA Sweet 16 88 the final four and the championship, well, I guess that those couple games could be underway. Final four and a championship. While Sweet 16 and Elite 8 has been complete. 
I guess that everybody loves the Earth. We like to see how hard they get, but there might be a lot of them to keep an eye on. And without being released, I think those two teams could definitely be the only playing of the game. Texas Tech, they're really on the show, looking for the run. Arizona, they could be trying to win for the first first time since they haven't won like just almost many years ago for the uh, for the 21st century of the game. I think there might be a solution here if we can keep an eye on them, just like we had. New group substitutions has made for Brooklyn and Atlanta as the current status for Kevin Durant is on the board. This season's turning out that great. I like this uh, player. KD is the pronunciation for the for the nickname. KD is like a like a pro. Since 2013, he was playing for the OKC Thunders with Russell Westbrook and James Harden. I think most of the players definitely did have it all what they had. And not to worry about them, they really have it all. Clint Capella, what a, what a fantastic finish. They definitely had that. Curry, finish the drive, and they will count the bucket here as the full tenings on Kevin Curdle. Not quite done yet, only 3.43 left to go in the first half. Burner on Curry. He finds Young. Alley oop again! Yes, sir! That was Trey Young with a number of assists. Alley oop successful on a lamp. And now they're up by two. A lot of heavy between the matchups in the marathon. It's very tight. Bounce pass to Griffin. Griffin. Bates, Brown, back to Griffin, over Capella, and that's good. That's Brown's assist, as this goes up with the first assist of the game, and Capella try to watch him behind. Another dunk, and nobody is on him. That was another assist here for Young. Young's doing really well out there. I think the first half could be a trash on a hit. They better not be able to take too many defensive offensive uh, open looks here. Irving, no look here, and uh, three pointers off. With the little man tightening out there, Herder with the ball. Screen. Trying again. Oh, Capella! He stumbles it across, and he really wanted to do it this thing again. Says, I have the ball, don't take my words from it. And Irving says back to him. Don't don't say never. It's 26-24 as Atlanta leads by two once more. Young short on a three. Once two minutes play here in the for the first half of the game. Durant, Curry, Griffin. Rolling the ball around to Irving. Now, Griffin will have to take the screen around the crew, and no problem. The Curry, the Curry man of Griffin has gotten the second bucket, and then Irving with the assist. And Trey Young able to carry the drive and this quick pass here for another one for Atlanta. Curry, right to Durant. Finds Griffin. Oh, what a great pass by KD. And they are trying to pick up the pace. Picking up the pace is not that bad anyway. I guess we like to get that. But I think more, more, more players are definitely need to try to handle the way up. They gotta do it. Double man on him. Finds Collins and Hunter. Dunk it through. Collins with the assist. And there, it's trying to bench out, score the Hawks bench by seven for the Atlanta. They played really hard and try to dedicate their responses. Irving, Griffin, Curry for the lead. It's no good. That's Herder with the ball. Score up short. And coming again, trying again. Collins for three. That's good. That's another three-pointer for Atlanta. And Clint Capella with the assist. Durant 
almost lost the fall, but had it covered. Irving makes the layup, and they're down by three. Wanted to settle things down a bit before the first half comes to a close. Young again, alley oop unsuccessful, and Irving to tie it. Yes, sir. Irving with another three-pointer, and Young still need to find another way to end the quarter. With that free, can he make it? He does! That's very tough. How well do you have to do? It's a lot of effort performance. So, that closes the first half. It's 35-33. It's a tight battle in between numbers number 8 and 9. Let's get you over to David Aldrich. David? Thanks a lot, guys. Kevin, how did you find success as a team scoring in the first half? Yeah, we're moving the ball again offensively. A lot of guys are touching it, trying to look at mismatches. You know, we found a play in an action that was working for us, and I just kept going to it. If it's not broke, don't fix it, right? Thanks for your time, man. Back to you. Thanks, CA. We'll be right back after this one. Don't go anywhere. We're about to be back at Barclay Center. First half, close call. But the commentators didn't really need to worry about us. Let's have a look at the daily recap of In Between Nets and Hawks. Satcher on the board. That's it for the halftime. It's time to get you back on the court at Berkeley Center. See you all folks next time. And we are back here at Berkeley Center as we're about to set off the third quarter. It's 35-33. And with the latest one scoring run, Clint Capella with the best defenseman player. And that could be the next one to go for. A lot of times, it's definitely how it gets uh, it's tough on it. And if you really have a lot of fell, but you need to go through, it's a lot of work that needs to pay them off by any other direction. And as the players are all rehydrated and they are back on the core, fueled up and ready to go. Now Herder will be uh, keep, keeping an eye on the ball. Durant and Collins with the, with the play and look. Young, off the ball, and it's rebounded by Irving. Irving gets another, another rebounded call, and now they will reset it up from the top. Bounce past the Brown. With a shot, and that's good. Brown with the first bucket in the first half, second half. And Irving got another one here, that's number three in the assist of the game. Young. Couldn't survive it from the uh, from the block this, but Young stays alive. Irving goes right to Durant. Durant to Brown. Back to Durant. Irving might need to find something else out here. Oh, look out below! KD slams the rim, and they are all tied up now. Wow, I love Durant with a smart move. <laughs> well, <laughs> I just can't believe it. It's how I like Steve. What a play drive. Collins and Curry with the shot. It goes in there. Collins gets the ball, and another one is being released out here to lead it up by two, breaking down the ball, Curry. Irving with the fade, right to Curry. He will find Durant. Around the moves, and he pulled it back in there. Durant gets another one, and that will be his third bucket of the night. Next timeout is called by Atlanta. With under four minutes going by in the third quarter. They really got to pursue their way right on the run. Listen, this is what everybody really likes to see 
because of those plays, they really got a lot of it better and better. They really do not want to see any fouls given out to other players who have definitely made a hard time to come up even the worst part of the game and don't want that to, uh, to be, be knocked out by those guys. There's a lot of encouragement when you are uh, making adjustments here. And, and because of that, why we're, in com that we're completely getting a little bit queued up here, well, it's because uh, we need to find something else out there. And that might be another one to keep your eyes. With a lot of average out there, there is a lot of turnovers here on Brooklyn. Only two for Atlanta. And the other one turned out, four steals for Atlanta Hawks and two for the Nets. 12 assists in the game for, for the Hawks and 14 for the Nets. But there may not be any recall, but they are changing it up. Now, here's, uh, here's another change up look here, as he will find Lou Williams, Irving stays on the court. Off of the pressure, oh, bad angle, hit the box on the side and it will be turned over again. Irving with the ball. Passing right to Aldridge, to Claxton. Claxton to Mills. Mills, inside, good. And that will be up to take the lead for two. Patty Mills. They usually sometimes call it Patrick Mills, but now they love the name Patty Mills because it pronounces short. I think they all like it. Right against Mills. McDonough up with the drive that cruises it up with another tie change. And another one goes with Wright with the assist. Wright's doing a lot of art uh, on a dedication of his own movement out there. He is just trying to help his teammate get, get there better. But Nick, Nick McMillan, they really wanted to keep his eye on the road. Three pointer! Patty Mills! has dominated his run, and they're up by three. Patty Mills, that's the guy that we all trust on because we always know him, he was the best. Okonwu against Aldridge. Okonwu pushes up, screen again, and it's tipped away. Aldridge takes the brand, and they are boosting it up a bit to try it again from the top. Claxton. Inside, no problem. What a play here for Claxton, and Aldridge will take the assist. Lamarcus Aldridge, he is definitely one of the best players out here in Brooklyn Nets. Without anybody seeing it coming, but there is just a lot more, but he can handle the pressure on the ball to keep an eye to go right from left. Two minutes left here for the third quarter. Thomas with the ball. Irving, right to Mills. Mills trying to figure out something going on. Back to Mitt Irving. Five to shoot. Irving, look out! Oh, wow, what a play. Irving got a ball, and he back up by two. Irving is going strong and strong, keeping it alive and better. He's definitely on the run. Don Ari, up again, and it's Colin. And it's a Kungu making a shot. Timeout's called out by Brooklyn. They will have another timeout to go here with a minute and 24 to go. Now they will try to pick up things off here on offense to try to go with another look. They're going to need to try to figure this one out if they can't have it all. It's a lot of hard look, but you're not going to have much time when you play here on offense. And with more on the effort line, they really got to get the screws up in the lane. They try to hit their runs and try to get back in the offense. It's a lot of the hard works, but they really got to take it all from the other lane. Another changing up here for, for the for Brooklyn Nets as Johnson will be stepping in. Looking at his McDonough with only 17 points, four average, and three rebound average, four in average. It's just how hard they got. McDonavich really has gotten all of his controlments out there, and when his more best performance goes up with the, the, the least run of his score in popularity, I think that most of the players have definitely out, definitely got it better. Sharp, no problem out here for the reverse layup. They are trying to pick up the pace. 
Young, Gallinari on Johnson. Finds Williams, and that's a great pass by Gallinari. And another assist cuts down by two. Gun goes up with the bad pass. Williams in the corner. And it goes around. It's a sharp angle. And another great saving rebound for Sharp. Sharp block and a rebound. Oh man, you can definitely feel the heat going out there. <laughs> I just really like it. This game is just the best. Best play ever. Another steal by Irving. And Patty Mills, two on one opportunity. It's a dunk. It's Johnson. Johnson really got a great piece of that one. I know that Johnson wasn't able to score many, but he's back. And Young, he got him tricked by Irving. And they're trying to cut down by four. Tragic by Mills. And Irving, sharp. Doesn't have any options to break the shot, and he lost it again. It's another biggest moment here in the game. Will Nets move on to face against the, the first seed, or will it be the Hawks moving on to the going against the first seed? Four quarters next after this. And with your chance, Nate McMillan had it on the line. He's trying to get a lot of attention out there, and without any other words, it's just a, it's just unbelievable how he, yeah, he's, he's coaching everyone to try to get back in the game. We played three quarters in the game, and now we are welcoming back here on the court to finalize the final quarter of the game. Will it be the win for the Nets or the Hawks? Shop off the angle, Irving with a bad shot, and it didn't really help him out. And now we're going for Capella, and they're coming back. They're down by two, and they're going to try to work their run a bit to get a little stronger. Irving to Curry. Curry hasn't scored a many yet. Finds Johnson. Up again. Solid D on Capella. That's the number one with the rebound. And it's out of bounds. It's Brooklyn ball. It turned to be a ton of it here for Atlanta. Well, just apparently, it didn't really help them out, but they have to be careful. And with amazing block here, with the mobile one releasement of Sharp. Yeah, I think that Sharp is definitely out at all. He's like a true savior from this game. He really out at all. I think he is a lot that hard and just played better. Drummond with the ball. He finds Irving. Now bounce past the Curry. With the shot, Bradley Smith is off and on the target is being released out as Capella with the rebound. Young on Curry. And coming in, and the drive is released. Young ties the game up, and they are trying to pick the attack on the run. Young is just like even crazy enough to go from here. They really didn't have it all. Rebound by Drummond. Around the pick. Wasted no time as Drummond has finally earned a pointage to go up by two. Drummond in quiet. But now he's back in the game and nobody is here to help. Man, oh man. And it goes out of bounds. It's Brooklyn Ball. Another huge turnover here for Atlanta. They're definitely going to get off the range and get kicked away if this comes up again. That's going to be a very hard one to try to keep an eye on the range. They really didn't have anything to go, to go with a lot of uh, moment. Curry in a cut. Strong move. It's too, it's too hard and, and not going to take that two-pointer. Seth Curry only had two. But that will be nothing for the second half. Herder on Brown. And Brown 
Shows up. And fade off and Drummond get the ball back. And they turn around the other way. Curry finds Brett Brown. Awesome shot and Brown gets another bucket. As Curry makes the assist. Curry's like doing a lot of us work out there. Strong moves. Collins on Durant. With the pass, Herder. Two pointer releases. And a no, it's a three pointer. He stepped back behind the three point line. And they're giving it up by one. Brown for three. Answers back. Brown gets a first three pointer. And they're up ahead by four. Reaching out in there, that's a lot of uh, hard discipline. It may be very tough. Capella up, but blocking the pass out there. Irving on Herder. Final look. Oh, Drummond with the block release spin. And he gets the ball back. The turnover's been released again. Big Penguin. I don't see that name. We don't have Penguins in this house. No, it looks like a penguin, that's, that's because of well, how black and white is. Brown going up, and he got it again. Brown with the next bucket at the point. Brown's got a great, great courage to take his uh, effort. Brown with 11 points. Once two minutes for playing in the fourth quarter, it's coming down to the wire. Capella up. Releases up another bucket for Hunter. And it's Capella with the assist. They are really trying to push their way into the up, up position. Brown finds Irving. Irving to Curry. Up an overpass, Durant. Finds Curry. Brown. Drummond with a shot. And it's tipped away. Capella with a solid D performance run. Young on Irving. Irving trying to put a hustle in. Herder on Curry. And as he goes up, great D on Kevin Durant and Katie will have the ball advantage. Trey Young, and he's all alone. Fighting the rebound, and it's Drummond with the ball. Looking that play is just uh, it's just a killer. They really got a lot of great move out here in the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter is definitely one of the biggest upsets in the game because if you don't have enough of uh, enough offense, you're not going to have time to think about it. And with Seth Curry making the layup, it's the timeout. Will be uh, released of Atlanta. Only 42.3 seconds. We're getting to closer to the end of a quarter. It looks like uh, most players need some hydration. Excuse me, need some hydration out there. They're going to need to try to try to take a rest. And looking over here, I have seen some quite uh, changes. There is your block here for for the Nets, but no block to so turn out to be a Atlanta Hawks because. That's how hard they release. Three blocks for Nets. Six turnovers on two of each team. Ooh, another Nets. 23 assists here for the Nets. And 19 for the Atlanta Hawks. I'm pretty curious of what's going to happen next. There might be a lot more coming in back. And with the closing game, let's check out your New Balance Player of the Game. What do you have, OJ? The new balance player of the game that's releasing the turnout, and we have the best player we have. It's Trey Young. Trey Young is one of the only uh, competitions that he has played here last game in the playoff season since their team made it. Now his releasement skills are turning out to be even more better than they, than they have played here before. Without the 2020 season, it was the biggest devastation in the eye. But that's how hard they changed. Young missing the three, and the Nets will have to close it off with a foul on Collins. With 36 seconds, this one will be turning into one more foul. Durant, strong move! Durant gets 
gets eight points, and he is like, nope, not quitting here. I guess I'm gonna not gonna get fouled by anybody. And McDonough scores. They're down by six. The foul will be released on Trey Young, and I'll be uh, carrying it for one on two shots for Kyle for Kyrie Irving. You can hear the Nets fans, they are coming back into the playoff game, and they will be playing against the number one seed in the team against Miami Heat. Since they played here in the first season uh, at that point, it's really hard how this turned out. What is your average shake here? Will it become, become more population for the Heat? Or will it be more population on the Nets? I guess the more population could be on Miami Heat. I know that Miami Heat was like strong enough here. Since back in the first season, it was not that better to play here. Very hard for the Desert Station. Abradanovich couldn't make the three-pointer as Durant will close it from here and will dish it off to Irving. Your final score, Nets, moving on to the playoff spot to take against the Miami Heat. 69-61, what a fantastic game out there. And that will be your advancement to take them on. Atlanta Hawks season is over. It's hard to get. But that's how hard they have played here so far. We give them a credit for them. I, I always give them a credit, but that's how a good play is happening. And now, finish the game off, it's DA. DA, take it away. Thanks very much, Kyrie. Great game. How were you able to have so much success scoring? Just by playing aggressive, man. This is my playground out here, so I just treated it so. I just had fun playing basketball. I'm so grateful to be playing the game that I love every single day, so. You know, being back home is nothing like it, man. I just come out here and just have fun. It's, it's easy to play out here and work on that. We all love coming to the app, man. Thanks very much. Back to you. All right, DA. Thank you very much for your time. And the play-in tournament is all finished. Next time, it will be happening of the NBA playoffs coming your way from the end of the regular season for them. And we will be finishing up the Stanley Cup wild card game on each teams. We'll stick around here later for the NBA playoffs to start with their run. And that's correct. I always can't wait what this looks like. It's very that very very a lot of fun and a lot of competitive uh, on the results. It's happening here on 2K Sports. That is correct. Let's head you over to three star players of the game of the NBA play-in tournaments. Starting with you OJ. Your take. Number three. We've already have seen that play. I guess that run was going to be a, a, a unstoppable running before of Brett Bruce Brown. He deserved it all. 11 points, three rebounds, two assists, and just great. He has dominated his performance run, 15, and that's, he has gotten better into it. Let's take our number two spot here for you, Son of Beast. Uh, for me, this was definitely not that quite tough enough to go from here. Number two was the in between the range of Clint Capella and Young, but my suggest was it was Trey Young. 14 points, five assists, two steals, one turnover, a give. And he had already made a foul, which was not just great, but that was all he had just changed. That's all he did, but his season will be back in next time. All right, Silver Spoon, it's your take for number one. Okay, thank you for asking. Number one, I like to say that one, this, this is quite authentic, but I'm not even sure who's the best player. But number one turned out to be him, the Irving. He's like only a killer out there. 16 points, three rebounds, six assists, one steal, huh. Just amazing. 29 of his performance since he couldn't play his own game. But the way games, he just turned out great. So that will end here for the play-in tournaments. I'd like to thank you all for watching of the Hawks and Nets. I know it was a little frustration here for the, for the other teams to make it to the playoffs. Clippers couldn't win it all. Same thing with the 
with the Lakers too. So both LA teams are out. And now the other teams have to find out who will advance to the second round of the NBA playoffs, which is the semifinals. So I guess that ends it here. Thank you for joining with us. And if you haven't checked the last game yet, make sure to subscribe to my channel and check out the previous game year of NBA play in tournaments. If you don't, if you don't watch the uh, previous ever games, somebody will give you an error to stop Chris Sonagai. We will never quit. We will never end it here. We keep it strong and mighty. For, my, for our YouTube channel of mine channel to give it all. Of Son of Beasts. Without Chris Sonagai taking it over. That's a lot of hard even work. The dedication is ever that we have here. Don't ever let this mess up on you. Um, please respect to all the community guidelines to be safe. No harmful feelings, just make it better. I'd like to thank you for joining. Peace out everyone. For a while as the NBA 2K22 dial and the NBA play-in tournament dial. This has been a presentation of the NBA 2K Sports. You can check out the other games of the play-in tournaments. And if you like the original of the season, well, <laughs> I guess that's a lot of Worthy to make the Worthy credit. Thank you for joining, and have a good night in Brooklyn, New York.